Hey guys, good morning. It's March 8th. March 8th? Yeah, March 8th. It's still morning. Um, because I don't think it's noon yet, but it's almost noon. Anyway, still in my pajamas. We're taking it slow and easy today. Um, we're not planning on going out. We don't have anything to do, which is probably good because Oregon declared a state of emergency this morning because of the COVID-19 virus. Yep. So that's a thing. Good thing I'm an introvert and don't like leaving the house and have no problem with doing things via ordering online. Right? Yeah, vlog. So this morning, my knee is still sore. I don't know if I just did too much on it too many days in a row or I'm just having a bad time. Full moon, I think, is tomorrow. I did twist it a little bit. That didn't make it feel any better. But anyway, it's Sunday. Go! Up, up, up and over. Ready? Up, 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 up
starch. Doesn't work for me. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It is just after nine o'clock. Obviously, we're in the car and I'm on my way to physical therapy. Uh, Alrighty, so we're out of physical therapy and of course my knee felt okay when I was going in, now it hurts. <laughs> I skipped ice again. I'm going to go home and ice it when I get home while I'm eating lunch. We're going to go check the P.O. box and I'll be back. I said on camera, and I don't remember if I did or not, my husband uh, called, uh, texted me from work last night that he was coming home soon and FYI he had a meeting with his boss and Lamb Worldwide has told all companies, or all employees who don't need to physically be on site, i.e. work mostly in an office on a computer to work from home going forward for the foreseeable future. And um, they don't have anybody with COVID-19 that they know of um, in the company worldwide. Um, but they're just being proactive about trying to do their part to prevent the spread of the disease. And, um, yeah. Uh, my daughter already works from home. She's living with us. Her fiancé is too, is living with us too. And he, as of yet, is not working at home. But I would anticipate by week's end that he's probably working at home. It's a good thing I have my own private space and headphones. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going to check the P.O. box. I'll be back. As you just saw, Bambi was outside and kept setting the ring off. So I realized the bowls were pop probably empty and came down to give them some food. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, March 11th, I think. Um, oh yeah, and they're coming right back. Hold on. Hold on, hold the phone. I literally just like a minute, 30 seconds ago, put the food down and they're back. They didn't go far. They're not really scared of me. Anyway, the birds are chirping and the air is cool, but not cold. It's a beautiful day out. Hopefully we'll get to go walking a little bit later. COVID-19 news is, you know, getting worse by the day, but it's gotta get worse before it gets better, right? Anyway. Um, chatting with friends, we're gonna take some projects that are actually downstairs, upstairs to work on them while we're talking, and I have some projects upstairs I want to work on too. Um, but I needed to stop and feed Bambi and stop drinking coffee because <laughs> that's a, I'm just drinking way too much coffee lately. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a quiet Wednesday at home, uh, and uh, it's all good. All right, so, I'll be back. Um, my knee's feeling okay. It's, um, a little sore still, but it's better. It's improving every day. Um, my stress level, of course, is not right now because hello, COVID-19. So anyway, I just...
you hear the bullfrogs? I think it's spring. What do you think? Good morning, guys. I think it's technically still morning because it's not lunch yet, but it's late. I think it's after 11 or about 11, somewhere anyway. It's Thursday, March 12th, I think. Yeah, it must be because tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Lots happened in the last 24 hours, hasn't it? Um, we won't go into the whole virus thing, but yeah, you all probably watch the news. Um, and I just got done having a disagreement with a friend who still thinks it's a bad flu. And some of you might do too, and that's fine. Uh, we can just agree to disagree. There you go. Uh, anyway, I am going to feed some old bread to the squirrels and I'm going to feed Bambi. I've been working on new merch on Teespring. And then um, after lunch, I'm going to work on some water coloring and I guess I should start laundry and do the dishes at some point, <laughs> maybe. All right, I'll be back. everybody it is Friday morning March 13th Friday the 13th oh joy I just did my due diligence stopping at a red light before I made a right turn the guy behind me wasn't having that and he honked at me he's right behind me right now he's not going to be happy that I'm driving this speed limit but you know it's Friday the 13th what do you what do you expect anyway I am Headed out to go to physical therapy this morning. Of course, taking all precautions. I have noticed with this whole washing our hands all the time thing, not that it didn't happen before, because I've always I've been a germaphobe, so I wash my hands a lot. But one thing that I know I've mentioned before in a episode of Straight Talk here on YouTube, I'll link it below. Um, dry skin issues post menopause. But especially when I'm washing my hands a lot or an excessive amount of times, which I probably am right now. Um, but you can never have it, uh, be too cautious, right? Anyway, my skin, my hands, they're so dry. I'm using so much lotion all the time on my hands. Anyway, and now especially, I think I'm gonna have to break out the aquifer. There's some under the cabinet in the bathroom. If you guys have a lotion, that you really find effective for dry skin, especially on your hands, um, let me know. Because <laughs> um, yeah, that's a thing, right? Anyway, uh, three of the four of us are working at home now. Um, Polyus's company and school are not really take, being mindful of the recommended social distancing and having people work from home, at least not yet but I would anticipate that happening soon. So we're making plans to set up a fourth office space in the house somewhere where he can quietly and comfortably work when that time comes um, in privacy with the door closed. So yeah, it's all a thing, right? It's our new reality, at least for the foreseeable future. Anyway, I just feel bad for the kids because they're supposed to get married in October. They have all these plans over the summer and of course a honeymoon after the wedding and yeah i don't know we'll see how it goes right all right i'm gonna get myself to physical therapy and back because today we're gonna be cleaning out the art room closet which i haven't done really since we moved in i just unpacked things into the closet and left it i set up the rest of the room in a way that i love but the closet has been driving me crazy since we moved in 18 months ago and so yeah we're going to be working on that this weekend so i'll film some of it for you and talk about my reasoning behind what i'm doing all right i'll be back i'm going to head over to physical therapy and then i'm going to go home and work on my art closet do some art keep myself busy how are you keeping yourself from getting completely stressed out right now in this crazy time with whatever chronic health health issues you have on top of the coronavirus and everything else that's going on. So tips and tricks, I'd love to hear them. Leave something in the comments below or over in the art group, Art Through Play Through Chronic Pain. 
I'd love to know. All right, I'll in a quarter of a mile. In the midst of all this coronavirus stress craziness, Friday the 13th, it's snowing. Yay! It's not really sticking, at least not yet. But it's cold enough that I bet you it will. Yay! Wahoo! Finally some good news, right?
Okay, so that footage you just saw was me taking all the drawers out of my closet. Here's a before picture of both sides of the closet. I didn't really do too much to the other side. I did, I've done a little bit, but here's the before pictures. And then here's the after. So what I discovered after moving and being in this art room for over a year is that, hold on, let me switch hands, is that the drawers were great in the old space, but they don't really work here. And they were too frustrating to get things out of in the closet. Really prefer shelves and bins. It's way easier to get to things. And I can see what I have better. Less tempted to keep and acquire things I don't really need. Um, Cause the shelves take up more space, allows for less stuff. The drawers were very compact and I could have filled the closet with drawers and kept a lot of stuff. No, just no. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, <sighs> what I did today. I do have three of the drawer units. I'm gonna donate one, two, three, four, four units, um, small ones. And I'm keeping the two big ones and then a couple of the small ones and I'll reuse in other parts of the house after the kids move out. So it's all good. All right, I'll be back. All right, so it is late. I don't know what time it is. 9, 9.15. 9.15, there you go. Only 9.15 or 10.15? No, 10, it must be 10.15. 10.15. 10.15. Um, anyway, we are headed home from a late night of grocery shopping. And I didn't take any pictures while I was there, but I'm gonna get some from my son-in-law and put Get, put the, put those here somewhere. He went to a different Fred Meyer than the one we did, but the one we just left looked the same way. Uh, literally, people are buying, clearing the shelves, buying out everything. They're not cutting off our food supply, people, and they're not cutting off our toilet paper supply. Toilet paper is made here in North America. Like honestly, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we didn't go crazy stocking up, but we didn't want to deal with the crowds and craziness over the weekend. So we went late tonight and bought a few things that we needed or wanted. And, um, and there's no canned goods, no soup, no soup, no, pasta, the soup, no ramen, no ramen, no bread of any kind. Plenty of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. A lot of wine. <laughs> a lot of wine. Not lot that of... they sell hard. They don't sell hard liquor at the grocery stores in Oregon, but they had a lot of uh, wine and beer and soft drinks. But um, no chicken. No, no chicken. Like zero. not a single piece of chicken. Not a single chicken. And the rest of the meat cases were like half empty. empty. They're empty. Um, the produce department was, was almost, almost completely empty. empty. No produce. There was broccoli. There was broccoli. People don't like broccoli. Either. We got, yeah, we got, we have broccoli at home already. And they had asparagus, which I got, which we love. And... But there was no nope. tomatoes, there was no, no I got fruits, the no last few tomatoes, no string beans, nothing. No. Nope. No lettuce. No. Nope. They're all gone. Y'all y'all are nuts. Let me see what else was there. Not that. No hand sanitizer, no cleansers, no. No gloves. toilet paper. The toilet no paper was like completely the whole aisle. High, the whole Most aisle room. empty. 20 feet of aisle on both sides. Oh, empty. no paper towels either, because no I think towels. they were on that same aisle. The whole thing was empty. Yep. It was crazy. So anyway, the stories you're seeing on the internet are true. The shelves are empty. They are restocking. and But as soon as they restock, it gets cleared out again, because y'all are crazy. They're not gonna cut off our supply of food and toilet paper. Um, they're not gonna cut off your water, uh, you know, calm down. Yes, you should have backup emergency supplies. Most places in the United States have some kind of natural disaster you should be prepared for. If you don't know what that is, contact City Hall or some other government agency. I'm sure they can help you out and figure it out for you. Um, we're on the West Coast, so I always have a month of toilet paper at the house and things like that, plenty of food, because we could have an earthquake anytime and be cut off. We also always have ways to cook said food other than using the utilities. Um, because again, we're in earthquake country. Um, but this is ridiculous, people. Just calm down. I know I'm saying that and I'm like completely stressed out, but don't be me. And I, at least I'm not clearing the shelves at the store. That's insane. All right, that's it for now. We'll be back.
see that? It's snowing again. It's so pretty. Um, I wanted to film a little bit this morning. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, March 14th. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's before lunch though. Um, 10 o'clock or so. It has snowed last night. It's started to melt and then it started to snow again. Huge giant flakes if you can't tell. Um, last night um, Bob and I tried to go to um, Fred Meyer which is owned by Kroger. We wanted to try to pick up a few things for the week so we don't have to worry about it till at least for a week and to be in reality we can go two weeks or more. Um, but when we can, we're gonna to try to go to the store anyway, pick up some favorite things we run out of. Um, but, uh, to be honest, Bob wanted potato chips. So my future son-in-law stopped at a different Fred Meyer than the one we went to on his way home from work. He did get potato chips, but they didn't have anything else. As while I understand everyone's panicking, I'm right there with you. I'm worried about the disease. I'm worried about the effects on my family, our society. Um, and I understand wanting to have enough supplies to get you through two weeks to a month. There is no reason on the planet you need to buy a pallet of toilet paper or a pallet of bottled water. They're not gonna shut off our water. They're not gonna close the grocery stores. You're gonna still be able to get food. Calm, just calm down, just a little bit. I understand being concerned, believe me, I'm right there with you. I've vlogged about it enough, y'all should know that by now. I wanna be informed, I wanna uh, be prepared, but I don't need to hoard so much that my neighbors can't get what they need. And that's really what's going on right now. And that's not cool. So anyway. Okay, people, it is, that says 146. So it's 246 Saturday afternoon. We've been to three different stores this morning and two donation places. We got rid of a carload of donations. No, we are not letting the virus stop us from donating items we no longer need to charity. We're not letting that stop us. So we did our due diligence. And we went to three different stores and found some things like pain medication and things that we might need should we get stuck in and somebody does get a fever, whether from the virus or from a cold or the flu or whatever. Um, and a couple other things in that regard, first aid type things and, and uh, hygiene type things that we needed. We're always on the lookout every time we go out for three things, tissues, um, Clorox wipes and toilet paper. Tissues right now we don't need. We have a lot of tissues at home. Um, I got them last week. I got some more. Um, but Clorox wipes, we don't really need either, but that's gonna be a thing that we're gonna just look for going forward. And if we had seen them, we would have bought some. We didn't. We did score one 12 pack of toilet paper. So I think it's Charmin or something, but that's okay. It'll do the job. Cottonelle. Oh, Cottonelle. Well, I like Cottonelle. I like Costco is better, but liter literally, you can't get into Costco. Their parking lot, from what we can see, because it's right here, is full. Um, we heard from another lady in line, because of course I'm being my normal, friendly, chatty self. Yes, I'm an introvert, but I can fake it well. I like to chat. I, what did you just do? Yeah, I like to chat with people, and I like to be nice. I don't see the point in being anything else. Anyway, she was saying if you try to get into Costco, they're limiting it, limiting the people that go into 600 people and you can't go in unless somebody comes out. Like, how is that even a thing that they have to limit how many go in? Like even at Christmas time, I've never heard of such a thing. And she said, and she was in there because she wanted tuna or she said it was tuna, tuna or something, tuna. yeah, tuna. And she said, no, they didn't have any toilet paper. 600 people, people, why is that even a thing? Why are we having to do that? This is gonna be hard on everybody. Can't we come together as a worldwide community and support each other to get through this? We can be better than this. We can do better than this. I know we can. Let's try, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. All right, we're gonna go home now and unpack and relax. I think I need a cup of tea to calm down and maybe some art. It's snowing out. It's snowing, yeah. I do like the snow and it's snowing out. Yay, I've got some pictures. I'll start them here. I'll be back. Hey guys. It's the end of the evening, like 6.30 or so on Saturday. And I'm just taking out the trash. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, this, this ending is gonna be for both vlogs. So um, at the time of filming this, I don't know if I'm gonna have two vlogs like I have been doing or just one uh, for this week. 
Um, I get tired of, and I'm sure you do too, of harping on my mental health and physical health issues with you regular YouTube viewers. I'm sure you don't want to hear about it ad nauseum um, and how I'm coping or not coping so well. Um, but in this stressful time that we're having right now, I do think it's important to talk about it and to be informed. And for me, that helps me get through the anxiety uh, along with art and reading and doing the things that I love that I can still do. Um, walking in the evenings in my neighborhood, staying out of large crowds, and all of that stuff does help me a lot. Um, staying safe, but still doing what I can. Um, it does mean not going to shops. It does mean, you know, not going into anywhere where I think there's going to be a big crowd of people if I can help it. And when I do have to do that, being safe about it. Um, there is a mom and pop shop in my old home area uh, of California called Donato's Markets. And I am going to see if I can screenshot a post that they made on Facebook um, to their customers and on social media and email to their customers and insert it right about here. And I was so impressed by it and what it read. And I do encourage you all to stop the camera right here and read the whole thing um, if you can. I will also try to link my copy of the post over on Facebook in the description below or a screenshot of it or something. Um, I had a reply to it on Facebook, which I also will share here for you to read. Um, we all need to be, be better. We need to be better humans to each other. We need to do what is advised to do and stay home. I know it's tough, but that's the way we're going to get through. And um, the alternative is not acceptable. So let's do what we can to support each other and help each other get through. I do have some ideas for some kid-friendly art. Um, since now, unfortunately, all the children are going to be home from school for a couple of weeks. So I do think I'm going to work on some of that ASAP. And it will be airing... Um, as often as I can get it to air, and I'll be have, asking some of my YouTube friends to do the same. Hashtag Simple Kid Art. And um, um, not monetized, marked kid friendly, so no comments allowed um, and all of that. But hopefully it'll help you parents out there give your kids some friendly creative things to do. Hopefully we can spur some ideas there of what you may already have at home without having to expose yourself and go out. We'll, we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, I was very pleased to see this morning that it snowed outside. I love the snow. That was great. And we made some Mary and Barry cobbler. I'll insert two pictures, some pictures here of that, both of those things. So that was great too. So it's been a stressful but fun week. And uh, going forward, we'll see, you know, what other things we can get it, get to that we will enjoy doing and having fun with. And yeah don't necessarily need to leave the house and go into a large crowd to have fun. That's a lesson here, right? It's all about the simple things sometimes. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support your local artists and creatives if you can. Um, most of them have something in the video descriptions, myself included, whether it's a PayPal tip jar or an Amazon affiliate link or an Etsy shop or Patreon or something. I have a bunch of those. So check out the video description, support them and their free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook where you can. Support your local mom and pop businesses. You know, you might not feel comfortable eating out at a restaurant right now. I can sympathize with that. Get some takeout. They're all doing takeout. Lots of them will, um, uh, markets around here and the restaurants, they're uh, delivering it to the curb. We have service to the house. I can do I don't normally do stuff like that but this is the time to investigate into doing that and to take advantage of some of those things yeah all right that's it right now also this is the time to let your kids watch tv and play video games just fyi <laughs> all right so that's it don't forget to love share support do what you can let's stop this thing in its tracks and above all go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it I'll see you later bye guys